Hello there. All right, as many of you know, I uh, do like my smart house. I have a lot of Hue lights around. I have a few other smart devices. Uh, but I wanted to check out something new. These uh, Tan Tan smart plugs. I got them from Amazon. Uh, cost me $18.99 for the pair. Uh, which is a pretty decent price, I believe. Uh, so we're going to install them, test them out here, and uh, see how much we like them. So uh, let's work through these instructions and get these installed and see how they work out for us. Now, I've already unboxed them. No point in unboxing these. They're plugs, right? However, you go to start working on the instructions. These are the instructions. And the uh, writing is very small. So for those those old one those of us who are older, uh, you might have a little trouble with this. But I did want to point out a few of the operating parameters of these plugs because the, you know if, if you're considering buying and you don't understand the the, the, the boundaries that they operate under, then you know you may set yourself up for failure. So let me read off these really quickly, and I'll uh, put them up here as bullets. Uh, rated voltage 100 to 240 volts. Okay, that's good. Uh, rated current max current 10 amps. All right. Standard frequency 50 to 60 hertz. Working temperature minus 10 to around 60 degrees Celsius. So they've got a wide operating range. Wi-Fi frequency is at 2.4 gigahertz, standard frequency. Max total power output, 1200 watts, all right? Only 1200 watts. And then we get into the instructions. Now the first thing we have to do and this annoys me to no end. I'm really, really not happy about it because although these are Alexa capable, you have to install their app first and you have to create an account with their service. So I'm going to do it, but I'm not thrilled about it. It's another app I have to keep track of. It's another account I have to keep track of. Why can't it just talk to Alexa? Cancel. Why can't it just talk straight to my smart device? Why does it have to use another thing? It annoys me, but it is what it is. So, thankfully, from my other video, I installed the Visor software. And you can see my phone as I do this installation process. This is actually one of the reasons why I did that one, because I knew this one was coming. So here we are. We have to install the Smart Life Smart Living app. All right, let's go ahead and install it. All right, so it's installed. Let's go ahead and open it up. And of course, the first thing we have to do is create an account. So I will uh, skip over this. It's a user ID and password. You know how to do that. All right. So, as you can see, I have finished creating a password, user ID and password, and I have this. Please make sure the smart plug has connected with electricity before connect the net. I'm going to read this like it's written. Before connect the network. Then open the Smart Life app, tap the Add Devices. Well, I don't have an Add Devices. I have a Create Family. Create Family. Uh, family name. We'll just call it Rico. Family location. You don't need to know where I'm at. So, the next thing we want to do so we're adding a family. Uh, I guess they're detecting smart devices. 
Uh, uh, some of these are correct. I don't have a study room. So these plugs are going to be in my office. So we're just going to add a room. Office. Done. Okay. Done. Family created successfully. Done. Okay. Hi. Welcome. Thanks. Uh, the instructions don't say anything about adding a family. So we just had to wing that one. All right. Add a device. Okay. So clearly this application is meant for uh, any random smart device to, to use and interface with. So this the smart life is, is some generic piece of software that they've integrated with. The as I noted, the instructions do not match the app. So they don't show electrical outlet, they show socket. Let's go with the socket. Power on the device and confirm that the indicator light blinks rapidly. Confirm indicator is rapidly blinking. Confirm indicator rapidly blink. Enter Wi-Fi password. Tips, only 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi networks are supported. Continue, connecting. I thought for a second it was telling me that I didn't have a 2.4 gigahertz network. All right, so we're initializing the device. And let's read what's next on the instructions while this is happening. Connection timed out. All right, so here's what was suggested was the problem with this was typically I connect to my router over what they call 5G, which we all know is not 5G, but it's also not 2.4 gigahertz. Maybe it's 5 gigahertz. Maybe that's what they're trying to say. They're trying to imply it's 5G technology, which it is not. Anyway, so I connect to my router on the 5G by default on my phone. So I switch that to the 2.4 gigahertz and let's see how that works. I'm going to assume it's rapidly blinking still. And I have to re-enter the password. So I'm going to do that. I'll be right back. All right, so we're trying to make our connection again. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so it found the device, it appears to be finishing up. So clearly that is something needs to be watched out for, is what your phone connection frequency is. Mini smart plug, it found it. Let's say done. Socket is on. Let's go take a look at it. And Let's go to our next set of instructions. This doesn't give us, oh, let's see if we can edit this. Edit this device name, mini smart plug. So we want to call this, this is going to be my fan plug. I want this to control my fan. All right. So we're going to call this fan.
device location. It's in my office. I don't know why I need that. Uh, okay, so now it says third party controls, Alexa, cancel. Uh, but I want to go by the instructions here because I don't want to end up wasting time, yours or mine. So let's see what it says to do next. Okay, so the first thing we need to do here in Alexa is set up or start the skills for the Smart Life app within Alexa. So we're going to go to the top menu here and go to skills and games. Uh, let's search for Smart Life. Smart Life plug. Here's Smart Life. We're going to enable that skill. Uh, apparently, I have to log in. So let's go ahead and do that. So it says Alexa will be able to cancel. Girl? Alexa? Sorry, I don't. Cancel. Okay. So Alexa will be able to receive your public profile, control your devices. We're going to authorize that. Smart Life has been successfully linked. What to do next? Close this window to discover smart home devices you can control with Alexa. Well, hopefully it'll discover our plug. Enable the skill. Starting discovery. Thank this you. This will take up to 20 seconds. If you haven't already, please enable the smart home skill for your smart device from the Alexa app. I have already. Thank you, dear. So we're going to discover devices. Discovery failed. I couldn't find any new smart home devices. If you have Philips Hue, press the button on the bridge and rerun discovery. All right. I guess I need to go push the button. All right. Well, let us try to... Discovered devices, I guess. We're just clicking things at this point. We don't know what to do. Yay, one plug discovered. So apparently pushing the button on the hue was able to uh, discover it. So one plug discovered that your plug has been added to your Alexa account. Let's set up the device. Add your plug to a group. This needs to go to my office group. Okay, office, add to group fan added to office. You, now you can refer to this device using the room name and device type instead of remembering the device name. I would rather remember the device name because it's fan. Fan is set up and ready to use. To control it, say Alexa, turn on fan. Okay. Okay. Um... I love that. This was a little bit of a pain in the ass to set up because we had never set one up before and there was a lot of bad instructions and you know things didn't work right but that's how we learn right and that's I can share these with you and hopefully those little hurdles I had to cross will uh, help you guys out a little bit with getting these installed but uh, you know that's that it's done and I love it. I love the fact I can turn my fan on and off with my voice. All right, I have one other plug to install, but I'm going to save that for my next video, which will be coming up sometime soon. And uh, hopefully you'll be interested in coming back and seeing that. But I do appreciate your time, and thanks for coming by, and hopefully I helped you out a little bit. Okay, y'all have a good evening, and we'll see you later. Mm.